Hey guys, it's been almost 2 years since the last time I have played Atlas, but after seeing the sheer will and determination of this person who keeps requesting me to play him for the past 100 days, I have no choice but to play him. But now don't get too excited I start spamming requests to play Fanny, because, I mean, nobody wants to see me completely dominating the whole enemy team without having to use a single cable. I have completely mastered her that I don't even need to use her cables anymore. But before I continue, a quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video. Mech Arena is the ultimate PvP mech shooting game that is casual and very fast paced, and at the same time is incredible fun to just look at. It requires not only good aiming, but also tactics as well, because you can also use mech's ability to outplay your opponent. They just had a huge update and they released the pilot's feature, with 12 completely brand new pilots to choose from. Each one has a variety of unique skills and a strategy that will bring a new level to depth to the gameplay. Customize them according to your playstyle and to your favorite mechs, try all sorts of different builds and find out which ones to use the best. Also, this month they are adding a lot of new stuff, such as the brand new mech stalker, another amazing pilot to the roster, Nova, and there is also a new weapon, the Ghost Rifle 4. The game is completely free to play on both Android and iOS. And if you use my personal link or scan the QR code on the screen, you will receive 50,000 credits, 3 gold crates, and an exclusive mech to help kickstart your game. This is my player ID and maybe we can play some matches together if I'm online. I'm glad that Chang'u pushed Silong away. Getting such an early first blood will make the game not as interesting. And that's the reason why I intentionally messed up my flicker as well. I'm very happy with the outcome of this early interaction. Popo did a good job at setting up his traps in the bush, but he forgot to actually check the minimap. If you don't want to make this kind of rookie mistake with Popo, feel free to check my prior video in which I play him. We got 4 in the bottom lane, we can easily dive Silon if he tries to defend. Perfect timing to get level 4.
As the tank, I need to constantly keep rotating around the map and provide support and vision for a DPS. This Popo really needs to work on his map awareness. There's no point in having a lot of vision on the map if you're not even going to check it. A lot of times it's okay to ult even just one hero. I know it's a lot more satisfying to save the ult for a 5 man ult, but in a lot of situations, you just gotta take what is offered to you. Nobody saw anything. I'm going to juke him by taking an unpredictable path. But he's two steps ahead of me. Too many things happening at the same time. Some of us are trying to gain top, the enemies are pushing both bot and middle lane. Since nobody is defending mid, I have to do it. Things are starting to look more interesting now.
this Naruto Goku Argus fusion is coming clutch. I saw a Brody coming to flank mid, I just need to continue to pursue and bait them. Do you know that Lolita's shield can actually block Atlas ult? We learn something new every day. Not sure why they are putting so much focus on the tank, they are wasting a lot of their firepower. By the way, Good map awareness from our Brody. He noticed Popo backdooring and immediately recalled to defend. We need to end now or Popo is going to destroy our base. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing.